Hello, it's Nancy today, back again, another boring day, so I'm going to talk to you because you know what I'm going to do. Now, I have these very nice windows in my bedroom, but they're too small and I can't see out of them. For instance, I'm going to show you up here, when I lie in my bed and I look up high, you see there's a window way up there above the cupboard. So, see how it shines on the ceiling? Now, what if I were to put a mirror right there? I would be able to see out the window. See, all I see out there is just sky. So, what I've done... I'm going to show you what I've done here. I put a mirror up on this area right here above there. And I have it leaning outward. You see, it can move. I touch it and it leans back and forth. And it's just sitting there. Now I have it angled so that when I'm when I'm in my bed, I can look over there in that little mirror. I'm not going to show you everything because it's a mess all over there. But you can see in that mirror, see the white spot? That is that window up there. And I see I have a ladder in here because I'm working up there. But if you look there, in that, you see there's the reflection of the, the ladder and there's also that window. And I can see out that window. You can't see out of it from here, but I can see there's trees, forest there. Now here's another window and I have the same problem. It shines out, it looks outside onto the silver chimney. I can see one branch and the chimney. So beside it now, I've got another mirror and I, it's not angled correctly. It's leaning downward. But I'm going to I'm going to go up there and I'm going to lean that mirror just so so that I can see out of this window. See? I'm going to figure out some way uh, some other way for seeing out of this one. It's very hard to put a mirror on the ceiling though. I'm not sure just how I'm going to attach it to make sure it doesn't fall down. Now, out this window. This window from here, I can't see out the window, you see? When I'm lying in my bed, that's my view. Now, what if I were to take this mirror here? I'll put it down here so I can see it. Okay, so I'm looking in the mirror here. Here's the out the window view. It takes my camera a while to get ready to focus. Okay, it's a beautiful view. But I can't really see down the lane. But now if I put this mirror here, Look at my view now. I can see all the way down the driveway. See? I could put it closer. And if I could get it to stay here, then from my bed, I'm going to be able to see out the window. I could, could lie in bed and watch the birds come to this feeder. <coughs> Isn't that an interesting idea? So I'm going to have to cut the mirror to fit this area. You see? This is the area here. And I like my little CDs there because they do nice things for the light. And I should really move that flypaper. That's not useful at this time of year. Now, if I were to put it under here, it's hard for you to see where the mirror is because you just it looks like you're looking out the window. See, if I, if I cut it right here at the edge of the wall, right there, then it could be permanently in there. I could, I could hook it up. Okay, now I don't know if I have my my glass cutting stuff right here. I think I do. Ah, oh, yes. It's over there, though. I can't get to it. I was, was going to show you how to cut the glass, but I guess I'll do that another time. Anyway, so if you use mirrors, if you can't see out your window, think about using mirrors to angle it so that the place that you're usually sitting or standing we're sleeping. You can you can look out. Placement of mirrors. Okay, see you later.